Welcome to Movie Recap Channel. Today we will recap the movie The Paramedic, released in 2020. The main character in the film is Angel, and he works as an ambulance driver. His job involves helping injured people from accidents, but he also steals from them. When he returns home, he becomes suspicious of his wife Vane, who has told him she wants to leave him. He starts watching her closely and hides what he's stolen in a cupboard inside the ambulance. At work, Angel's co-worker tries to talk to him, but Angel is more interested in watching a fertility video. Then, they receive a call about an unconscious old woman, but when they arrive, they find out she's already dead. Angel steals something again and sells a watch but keeps a ring, claiming it's his grandmother's. Back at home, Vane receives a call, and Angel asks her to answer it. She suggests that he should see a doctor because they're having trouble conceiving. He promises to do so soon. Meanwhile, there's a man with a barking dog disturbing Angel's sleep. The next day, Angel goes to the doctor, who gives him shocking news. He has a low sperm count, and they need to consider artificial insemination. He talks to Vane about it, and they think about traveling together. However, Vane says she's busy with exams. While she's in the room, a text message arrives on her phone, and Angel looks at it. At work, they transport an injured person who suddenly has a seizure in the ambulance, leading to a violent accident when they're hit by a speeding car. After the accident, Vane helps her husband Angel because he can't walk anymore and needs a wheelchair. She also brings him medicine. Then, she gets a call from a classmate who helps her with study notes when she's not around. Angel feels uneasy about their relationship. The next day, Angel watches a video about a hacker app that can spy on any phone. Later, he has a physical therapy session with Dr. Sandra. The driver who was in the car during the accident visits their house with scars on his face, trying to apologize to Angel. But Angel gets angry and accuses him of causing the accident, kicking him out. One night, when Vane is about to go out, Angel asks her to bring him ice cream. While she's out of the room, he secretly installs the hacker app on her phone. When she returns, he eats the ice cream and then checks her current location on his laptop. That night, Angel is bothered by dogs barking. The next day, Angel meets the dog's owner and complains about the noise. The man explains that the dog barks because he's left alone when the owner visits his wife in the hospital. Angel continues his physiotherapy sessions and tells Vane that the doctor thinks he might walk again. However, Vane is more interested in an internship at a vet clinic and plans to quit her job and work part-time in customer service. This upsets Angel, making him feel helpless. He's monitoring all her contacts with clients at night. He's in pain and looking for the painkiller medicine box, but he can't find it. He calls Vane to ask her where the medicine is, but her phone is turned off. He goes to the kitchen and finds the medicine, then he hides it under the bed. When she comes, he asks her why she left him without attention and where his medicine is. She tells him the medicine is in the kitchen, but he insists it's not there. In fact, she can't find the medicine box. The next day, he puts a pin in a piece of meat and goes to call the dog in a low voice so that the owner of the dog doesn't hear him. He makes the dog eat the meat to harm it while spying on Vane's calls. He overhears her calling with her friend, and her friend tells her that she should leave him. Vane says he's become a burden to her, and her friend encourages her to leave because he mistreats her. When Vane returns home, she finds that he has prepared the food she loves. He asks her to wear the dress he bought for her, which she's already wearing, and she looks beautiful. While they eat, he thanks her for what she's done for him during the past days and promises her that he'll get better in the coming period. He encourages her to accept the training at the vet clinic and also tells her that he has booked an appointment with a doctor for IVF. Then, Angel takes a shower and Vane receives a text message on her phone. She feels an echo of the text message notification, and she reaches for the laptop. She finds that everything related to her phone appears on the laptop. She goes to collect her things, and when Angel comes out of the bathroom, he finds that she has left. He discovers that she has discovered that he is spying on her. After a few months pass, he starts going to therapy sessions. The doctor asks him why he didn't come earlier, but he doesn't answer. Then he goes back to his house and meets the owner of the barking dog near the elevator. The man tells him that his wife and the dog have passed away. Later, he spends New Year's Day alone and gets an unsettling idea. He takes a taxi to secretly follow Vane. He discovers that she's dating his co-worker, the driver. He keeps watching them until they go to a store that sells baby beds and he figures out that she's pregnant. The next day, he goes to Vane. She tries to push him away, but he says he wants to say goodbye because she won't see him again. She's affected by this and agrees to accompany him to his home. When they arrive, he tells her he's prepared a box with her belongings and her passport. She goes inside with him, and he offers to make tea, but she declines and asks for her things to leave. Then he surprises her with a question. Did you love someone? She gets confused and asks where her things are. He says they're in
in the room next to the bed. She enters the room, and he administers a sedative injection. She faints. When she wakes up, she realizes she's tied up with ropes. He plays a romantic song, I Can Never Forget You, and then he closes the door and takes her phone. He listens to voice messages from her boyfriend. Later, he goes to a lake and sends a text message to her boyfriend, Ricardo, saying, I'm sorry, Ricardo, I can't have this baby. He throws the phone in the lake and returns home, giving her a chance to talk and revealing that he met Ricardo and learned about her pregnancy through him. She tries to scream, but he stops her and gives her an anesthetic injection while they're in bed together. Then, their neighbor knocks on the door. The neighbor mentions the loud music from the previous night and how he's been putting up with the dog's noise for days. He also asks about Vane, but Angel says he hasn't seen her for months. The neighbor heard screaming from inside the apartment, and Angel suggests it might have come from another apartment. The neighbor insists it was Angel's place and mentions seeing them together before. Angel doesn't want to admit he had a girl with him, so he avoids explaining further and goes on with his treatment sessions. Next, we see Ricardo waiting for Angel. He asks about Vane, and Angel denies knowing anything about her. Then he excuses himself and goes into his apartment. When Vane wakes up, she realizes her body is paralyzed. She asks him what he did to her, and he reassures her that it's because of the anesthesia. She tries to move but can't, and he plays romantic music while enjoying her distress. Later, Angel sees that Ricardo has sent him voice messages, asking him to respond. He threatens to call the police if Ricardo doesn't stop. While having dinner, he tells Vane that he wants to name the baby Angel. He also says that if it's a girl, she can choose the name. She seizes the moment and hits him on the head with a glass. She attempts to escape the room and scream, but he catches up to her and injects her. Their neighbor knocks on the door and threatens to call the police because he's certain Vane was the one screaming. The neighbor also asks about the wound on Angel's head. Angel invites the neighbor inside to see for himself, and he finds Vane on the ground. The neighbor says he'll call the police, but Angel stabs him. Vane is shocked by what she witnesses. Angel then calls someone for help, offering money and gold in exchange for cleaning up the scene. They carry the injured man out of the building. Some time later, the police arrive at Angel's place to ask him questions. They inquire about his relationship with Vane, and he tells them she was his wife, and they used to live together. They ask if he knows Ricardo, and he mentions that Ricardo is a co-worker. It turns out that Ricardo informed the police because he was suspicious of a text message from Vane. The police ask when he last saw her, and he says it was a week before she went to France. They also inquire about her relationship with Ricardo, and Angel claims he knew about it and was happy for them. After the police leave, Angel takes a key from Vane's bag and goes to Ricardo's apartment. He stabs Ricardo multiple times and gives him some kind of liquid, assuring him that he'll take care of the child. Afterward, he sets up a crib for the baby and wakes up Vane. She tells him that if she remains in this condition, both she and her unborn child might die. He suggests having lunch, and she agrees but needs a wheelchair to get there. During lunch, he talks about a new baby stroller he bought. Later, Vane goes to the bathroom and asks him to close the door. While there, she leaves the tap running and takes a nail clipper with her. At night, her body temperature rises, so he goes out to get her some medicine. When she's sure he's gone, she manages to free herself using the nail clipper. She leaves the apartment and tries to go down the stairs, but suddenly, Angel appears in front of her. She attempts to run away from him, and both of them tumble down the stairs. She struggles to get away from him and pushes him, causing him to fall as well. She cries because of what has happened to him. After this incident, Angel's body becomes completely immobile. Vane approaches him and says she will take care of him. However, deep inside her, a desire for revenge against him begins to grow. 